Walker is desperate for answers tonight. It's now been one year since her 16-year-old son went missing. Now she's concerned her son may never come home, and only Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski sat down with her and Jen's in the studio tonight. And Jen, she's worried her ex may have hurt her son. That's exactly right. That's really her biggest fear. Now, this is her son, 16-year-old Julian Revolve, an honor roll student who she says took a dark path after meeting his father for the first time. One year later, she believes something is very wrong. Those rocks. Those bracelet. I mean, these are things that, that meant something to Julian. Going through her son's keepsakes isn't easy for Nicole Barrett. It's very hard, you know, and I haven't been through this for a while and it's extremely difficult. But she's kept everything. Implants of his teeth when he got his braces. Just in case. I have hopes that he's gonna come back home. It's been a year since she heard her son's voice. Raising him for 16 years on my own, I know my son, and this is not like him. Not like him, because she says he's not a runaway. What is your worst fear that may have happened? That his dad may have hurt him. Julian Revolve was last seen at his dad's house in Denver. This is the one I feel is responsible for the disappearance of my son. A convicted sexually violent predator. Barrett says her ex turned her son into someone she didn't recognize. From this picture, happy, not a worry in the world, innocent, loved animals, to this. A curious teen, Barrett says she let her son meet his dad for the first time when he was 15 and then he convinced Julian to stay. That was the worst mistake of my life. A year later, he would disappear, and Barrett says her ex has been less than helpful in finding him. The not knowing hurts more than the knowing. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children is now involved, and Barrett says she's not giving up hope. Loved to go fishing, loved the outdoors, loved animals. That this version of her son will finally come home. I love him with all my heart, and I miss him heartbreaking story. Denver police tell me this is still a very active and open investigation. Anyone who knows anything about this case or Julian's whereabouts is asked to call DPD. I'm Jennifer Kovaleski for Denver 7.